Hey, greetings and salutations. I'm Big Brother. I just got back from the toy auction. Uh, before we go further, I bought other things besides toys. Uh, they had a whole bunch of bowling par paraphernalia there. Um, and I did buy some bowling things. Uh, I, I know they sell. You guys have seen me, uh, you know, buy pins and stuff. And I've learned along the way. Okay, so the first step is I got this whole bag for two bucks. All they are are anti-smoking buttons. Uh, smoke. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can show you some of these. Whew. If you think lung cancer is bad, try emphysema. You can see. Uh, puff out. Let's just say, have a heart, not a heart attack. Quit smoking. Too late for me. I had a heart attack at 42. Let's see. A smoker is a croaker. Uh, these are all Bates buttons, and they're all marked 1978, so they're definitely vintage. Uh, the big anti-smoking campaign of the time. Uh, yeah. Lungs at work, no smoking. Support your local mortician. Uh, I'll probably uh, put these uh, five to a lot. Here, I don't know. Light up, lights out. <sighs> smoking is a burning issue. <laughs> Bam the butt. That kind of thing. Anyway. This big ass. Easily 50 buttons in here. Two bucks. Even if I were to only sell them for two to three. Which I'm going to ask more obviously. Or maybe I'll put five in a lot. And throw that out there for 15 to 20 dollars. And uh, you know. This is one of those residual things. They start selling. They'll. Start paying off. Maybe they won't sell right away as a lot. Or, you know. This was part of a lot that I bought. Look, I got a box. And it's pretty much just a box. So this is junk. Uh, I'm going to keep the Legos out of them. Of course. And I know Lego boxes can be worth money. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. So, that's it. This is probably just going to throw it away. This was part of a lot of those uh, games. This is another game. Pin the tail on the donkey game. This is a Whitman game. Whitman uh, has the W. You'll see this on a lot of the playing cards that uh, teach kids how to play the games like Slapjack, Old Maid, Go Fish, all that. And they have the kid pictures on them. That's, those are Whitman cards. Uh, some of those, especially when they're sealed, can be worth some money. Uh, well, there you go. Well, let's see. Huh. Kind of looks like it's all there. Oh, 1970. There you go. Western Publishing. I've not uh, looked any of this stuff up. Oh, stay there. Grr. I've not looked any of this stuff up. Uh, some of the stuff that I bought, I did look up, and I, I went after it, of course. Uh, this is part of a lot. I bought tons and tons of patches and medallions and little doodads, trinkets, pencils, all this stuff, all bowling ball related. Uh, one of the uh, estates that they were selling there, guy bowled 29 strikes in a row. And he had all these uh, 300 patches. And I'll show you those as we go along. But uh, you know, here's key change. Key change can do well, guys. Do not think they can't. I, I've, I've shown you some on my wet sold videos. Uh, honestly, I, I just don't want to do wet sold videos anymore. Uh, you know, if I'm not selling, then it's time for me to quit. So, I'm just going to take my word for it. Uh... 
what we got here? Indiana Bowlers. Yeah, well, I'm in Indiana, so there's another one. Okay, so yeah, so that's it. And it, I got this IU Steak and Shake National Champions. Well, I looked the glass up, but uh, chances are I don't want it unless it's worth like about 20 bucks. If it's uh, worth less than that, it'll go in the garage sale because as far as I'm concerned, I got it for free. It's not what I was paying for. It just came with the stuff that I was paying for. And that's how I view buying a lot there. Okay. They gave me this because nobody else was uh, buying them. And this was in the um, bowling lot. But all they are is just pencils. They're not marked. They're not nothing. Uh, I mistake, mistook them for uh, putt-putt pencils. But no, I, it's uh, yep, just a bunch of pencils. They're not, uh, you know, they're not worth anything. I, I try and sell them. Put them out there for, oh, I don't know, 10 bucks for all those. They're brand new. Uh, in that lot of bowling, they made me take these. But they're blue ribbons. They're unused. And uh, I'll iron that out so they'll be nice and straight when I sell them. Uh, yeah, these are all unused first place ribbons. And here's a third place. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. It's a box with a bowling pin on it. Oh, this is a bowling pin pin. Come on out of there, y'all. Huh. Ooh, this sucker is new. Oh, man, this looks nice. But, here we go. Got a... Uh, just a uh, bowling pin. Made in China, so... Anywhere from the early 80s till now. These might very well be vintage. Okay, well, I got the box with it. We'll see. Uh, I think I got three or four more of these, but without the box. Uh, let's see. These are... They gave me these little boxes to put things in. Pro Bowling Association. Uh, these are tag... Bag tags. Luggage tags. Whatever you can probably put them on their bowling bags. <laughs> Pardon me for sweating profusely. Oh, I really need to turn on the air conditioning. I just took snow off my car Saturday, and now I got to turn on the air conditioning. What's spring? Spring done sprung. These are patches, iron-on patches. Uh, little thing to put them in. Oh, this has got to be a second place in, right? Yeah, red second place. Like I said, I'll iron these out. That's easy to do. You just put something over it. I uh, have no idea what they're worth. Like I said, this guy bowled a bunch of 300s. Here's photographic proof. I'm not going to sell the photo. Uh, but, yeah, I, I might include this in some of the things that I did buy. To prove that they are what they are. And just say photograph not included. So it's kind of like uh, giving it a credence. Giving it verification. There's some more buttons. Probably not worth much because all they say is 300 on them. But uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Big ass. Buttons. Oh, Mr. Button Products. I know the Mr. Button name, so it might be worth looking up. It, it's all worth looking up. Let's make no mistake. Uh, here's another PBA. Here's a medal that came. Let's see what's this say. White River Park Regional State Games. Yeah, going a lot. Oh, here's another one of those pins. Bowling pin pin. 
Bowling pin pen. Uh, let's see. Another bowling pin pen. It is a cadet with a wingspan of 14 and a half inches. Guaranteed to fly. Uh, I can't even do that with the real ones. Here's a medallion. It is embossed. It says Royal Pin. On the back, it says Royal Pin Senior Masters Classic. It has a guy's name, Chuck Brandsetter. So I'll look up his name. High average, 216 through 13. I don't, you know, I don't know. Maybe they're worth about five, six bucks. Maybe they're worth more. I'll look into it. All right, I'm just going to grab a handful and we'll quickly go through them. There's a bunch of these. Uh, well, there's some uh, bowling pin. I just hit the button. ABC bowl. Probably not worth anything because it just says ABC. Here's one with a button attached. I'll probably leave that. I don't know. I'll have to research them. 80, 90, 90 mixed league champion. ABC women's. Uh, I think W is women's. I don't know for sure. I just assume that. But here's one. Here's another one of those. Here's one that says all spare game. Uh, yeah. Here's one that says 700 series. And on the back it says what his score was of 708. Here's an 800 series, probably from the same, I think it's all from the same dude, yeah. Charles Brandstetter, so you can look him up. Here's an all spare game. Here, look here, we got a um, belt buckle, most improved average. That ought to be worth a little bit, hmm? You saw say made in China on him. High average senior league, 2003-2004. Uh, 300 game. These will be worth a little bit more because they say 300 on them. But not much more, you know. We're talking like two or three bucks more and that's about it. Uh, okay, this is definitely an old patch. Smoky. It looks smoky, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll put that one aside. Here's another one with a pen. League champion, 88-89. Our 300 game. Our 300 game. Senior 125 pins over their average. And it says there, score 770. Uh, here's a 298 game. Uh, you know that's got to suck. And state champion team. Yeah, that's just a small sampling of the patches I got. I'm not going to bring them all out. Uh, let's see. In a lot with a bunch of other stuff. I got a Viewmaster. I've sold these before. These sell okay. You know, I'll get 10, 15 bucks for this. I'll sell it with the, uh, everything works. It looks clean-ish. I mean, you know, it's vintage. So, there's not big marks or scratches. So, I should do pretty good with this. I mean, I'm. Sold them before. You don't get a whole lot. Certain ones do better than others. This is a um, newer one. It says Gap. I, I don't mean new. Like new is in 70s new. Get some more of those. For five bucks, I picked up these two things. I got me a Mickey Mouse gumball machine. Thanks for the gumball. Yep, there we go. Uh, not working shape, super light, ship less than, uh, it'll ship first class. So, you know, I'll ask 10 bucks for it. Because um, it's in non-working condition, that's why. It's Mickey Mouse. Yeah, but there's so much Mickey Mouse stuff, people. Seriously. I mean, Disney had it stuff figured out. If there's no, uh... If there's nothing that says Walt Disney underneath, you got a fake. He's been doing it since they've been merchandising. 
Uh, yep, yep, yep. He's holding something there that I don't have. I'll look into it. Oh, talking toothbrush. There we go. Another one of these. Another one of those 300 buttons. Another one of these. 70 pin. Yep, see another one. Got lots and 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 lots of these things. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yep. Tons more of these things. Well, that's a different one. Is that way? 300 button. Here's a triple score. That's one I'm not seeing. Here's the 300 games. I got a bunch of those, I said. Weird looking patch there. Bunch of league champion patches. They threw this in. This is some kind of hanging ornament of some kind. Kingpin of the alley. That's a uh, plaster. So, yeah. Uh, probably a made in China piece. I'll ask, I don't know, probably five bucks. Put it in with a lot of other stuff. Uh, here's this. this is a magnet. Ooh, check this out. That's a new one. 700, here's the 300 club, the 700 club, league champion, bunch of league champions, these are some uh, magnets, bold of 266 on the date of October 27th, 2010, so they're all, uh, damn it, I can't think of the name it's called, <laughs> White River State Games Bronze Medal for bronze it's probably brass honestly uh for 1992 almost to the bottom guys oh yeah tons and tons of these pencils but uh they say sport bowl what the hell happened here lynhurst bowl i used to bowl at lynhurst bowl hall of fame lanes family fun Center, so uh, yeah, these are all bowling pencils. Uh, here's a. Uh, they couldn't find anybody else to pay for these, so I threw them an extra five bucks. You know, I could have got them for a dollar. They kept going five, five. Uh, all right, I'll give you five. <laughs> so, second place. Who wants a second place? Nobody remembers second place. You ain't first, you're last. So, here's another one. High average. Another pen. Lots of these pencils down here, all different things. Look, it's a broken Bolivar. Uh, yeah, they just threw it in there. Nobody else wanted it. Uh, it says ABC on it. Centennial. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, junk. Uh, what the hell is this? It's open. I even got some patches that are still in the plastic. Oh, this is a keychain. 267 was the bowling average, or bowling score. Huh. Lots of patches, huh? Okay. Paid $25 for this next item. I wasn't happy that I paid for it. Uh, I was bidding against Mark. We know him as the toy guy. He knows he knows toys. Uh, I mean, he, he can look at something that's not marked and tell you what it is. So I looked at him for guidance. He shares sometimes. You know, I wait until after he's paid for the item and then go ask him about the item. I said, hey, you know. Why'd you pay this much and stuff? He's a collector, and he also sells to some of his friends that are also collectors. So, I managed to get the Marks Zoo Set. I don't know how much is here, but I've got the, uh, you know, the pins and huh, the 
tree. I'm pretty sure it's not everything, but there's lots of fence fencing here, okay? And here's a ostrich or maybe an emu. But these things are very detailed for being little plastic things. You won't find this kind of detail in shit made from China, okay? Um uh, a broken dude. And for some reason, we have uh, cavemen, aborigines, I don't know. In the set, uh, yep, polar bear waving at you. Oh, okay. And another olifant. His giraffe, his giraffe is cool. Uh, got a camel, got some, uh, cats, some bears, some lions, oh my. Uh, here is, I'm pretty sure it's not part of the set, but here's a canoe for the, uh, mm, I don't know. Alligators, really cool. If, uh, he's kind of bumpy, as you can see. You can see his eyes. You can see his eyes through his eyelids. That's how detailed these things are. Two, four, he's got five digits. I mean, these these things are cool. Yep, so I paid 25 for them. Uh, look around, doing some comps. There's none other up there on eBay that I've noticed so far. Uh, yep, 60 bucks are best offer. That's what I'm going to do on it for everything in here and I probably wouldn't do less than 50 honestly now let's see where's my uh. after tax I spent a so a total of 72.89 so uh, before tax 60 bucks I said I was going to do a $50 challenge, but, uh, I don't know. I, oops. Uh, 39th million dollar classic. I, I really can't tell what that says. Maybe hoink. Honky. I don't know. Uh. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this this is something I was going after. Uh, paid five bucks for this and a bunch of other crud, but this is what I was going after. It's all in here. Uh, Three hundred and twenty-five pieces. This is what it is. I expect to get about twenty bucks for this. So, uh, yeah, Kenner, love Kenner. It's an airport control tower. I'll take it out. Uh, I don't think it has this. But it's definitely all of this. And I'll put it together and maybe take a picture of it for you guys. Because I want to make sure all the pieces are there. Uh, it, it looked like it. And some of the other toy guys there said it was. Well, they got different ones for different cities. I'll be darned. This is New York. I didn't know that. And I uh, got this stupid little puzzle thingy. I'll just... Oh, look at that, it's ripped, so yeah, you know, scratch. Donate. Oh, <laughs> uh, and I got some Viewmaster slides for my Viewmasters. Uh, they threw some uh, vintage uh, dollhouse miniatures at me because they know it. You know, that's what I do. So, uh, they gave me some uh, poodles. Definitely vintage. Probably 70s, early 80s. It says made in Hong Kong. That's how I know. I also got two other games. I got a Monopoly game, which I'm going to uh, rape the pieces out of it. Th that particular Monopoly is not worth crud. They're hard to get rid of at garage sales. But uh, I'll probably take it out and uh, add it to another Monopoly game that I currently own. My uh, niece is young enough to start playing Monopoly. She doesn't know how to hate it yet. So we'll just do that. 
Okay, so for the next thing, I got a black towel, a bowling ball towel. It says championship tournament. Baton Rouge, picture of a lobster there. I don't know, something like this, five bucks probably. And then, wasn't sure what to do. I picked up, there's four of these. Uh, these are the actual scorecards signed from both teams or witnesses or whatever. Proving that he got a 300. Uh, I went ahead and grabbed them because I looked at these and I was thinking, mm, more patches. But these are actually just photographs that they've cut out and put in here. So, uh, I got four of these things. All right. You know, uh, the paperwork, it's not going to sell. Not really. And uh, since those aren't real patches, I can at least say I got four frames, right? I don't know. Uh, probably just going to go into the uh, donation bin. Wink, wink. So, yep, that's that's what I got.